How you doing? This is another video that's going to help you with some of your Khan Academy work. Specifically, this is going to focus on video examples for the assignment called Area of a Circle. That's the third assignment we have up there on Khan Academy. Before we start going into some of these examples that we'll look at for this Khan Academy Area of a Circle assignment, we're going to talk about a few key terms related to Area of a Circle. As we've covered already in previous assignments, the radius deals with a circle. It measures the distance halfway across a circle from the middle out to the edge. And a diameter measures the distance all the way across a circle from one outer edge across the middle to the other edge. Area for all shapes measures how much space the shape takes up. And the formula for a circle that helps us with area is pi, 3.14 is what we use for pi multiplied by whatever the radius is squared. So if you remember a square being length times width to do its area, for a circle the radius almost serves as both the length and the width, both dimensions. We do radius squared multiplied by pi and that always equals our area. Down here later on we'll go touch again on the formula for circumference. Circumference is always equal to two times the radius or the diameter multiplied by pi and that can help us also if we're given a circumference to be able to find radius and work out the area. So as we see with this formula, if we want to find the area of a circle, the big key is to know what is the radius for that circle. The first example that we're going to look at, I'm highlighting here, it says what is the area of the following circle? And the directions also say, we'll come back to these, enter either an exact answer in terms of pi, or you could use 3.14 for pi and enter your answer as a decimal. So the key to see for this circle here, which I will replicate or draw on my whiteboard, that circle measures four units from the middle to the outer edge. So if it's four units from the middle to the outer edge, that means the radius is equal to four for that circle. So four is what I'm going to plug into this area formula. The area formula will transform to say area equals pi multiplied with four squared, or four multiplied by itself. 4 times 4 gives us 16. So for Khan Academy, if we come back to the directions, the area for the circle is equal to 16 multiplied by pi. As you see in the directions for Khan Academy, they say, I'll highlight that direction one more time, enter an exact answer in terms of pi. If I were to do that, all I would do is I would plug in 16 pi as the answer, 16 pi square units for my answer for this circle. Alternatively, and this is what IXL requires for all of their circle problems, it seems like you could use 3.14 for pi. So I could keep going, take 16, use a calculator to figure out what 16 multiplied with 3.14 is. And that gives me 50.24. So I could say 50.24 units squared for the area of this circle, and Khan Academy also would accept 16 pi as the area. That's equivalent, or the same thing as 50.24 if we're using 3.14 for pi. We're going to look at a couple more examples together. The next example we're going to look at, I'm going to make the whiteboard a little bit smaller for a second. The next example we're going to look at, they take the picture away. I'm highlighting this problem right here. It says find the area of a circle with a diameter of 6. And then they give us the same directions of enter either an exact answer using pi or use 3.14 and enter your answer as a decimal. So here, the key, they tell me the diameter for this problem that we're looking at. They say the diameter is equal to 6. And if the diameter is 6, and I know diameter is always twice as big as the radius, I need to understand that the radius for this circle is going to be 3. Once I know that the radius is 3, now I can work with this area formula. I plug or substitute the 3 in for r. The formula becomes area equals pi times 3 squared. 3 squared, or 3 times 3, makes 9. So the area for this circle, when I do 3 squared is 9, is 9 times pi. I could put 9 pi in as the answer for an exact answer or I could use an estimate of 3.14 for pi and work this out to a full decimal answer. 9 times pi or 9 times 3.14 
after I plug that into my calculator, 9 times 3.14 gives me 28.26. So the area for the diameter of 6 circle would be 28.26 square units. That's what I'd be plugging in for. Give me just a second. This answer here will make the whiteboard a little bit smaller. So if the diameter were 6, that's how we work out an area of 28.26 square units based on a radius of 3. The last one we're going to show you to keep you thinking, there's probably a challenging one or two problems at the end of this assignment where they provide you with the circumference of the circle. So I'm going to find one of those and highlight it on my screen. We're told find the area, I'll highlight this one, find the area of a circle with a circumference of 12.56 units. So it says find the area here, this is the problem we're going to focus on, of a circle with a circumference of 12.56 units. So the first thing I'm going to do is write down here my area formula, which is area equals pi times radius squared. To know the area for any circle, radius is how I get there using this formula. Here we don't know the radius, we know the circumference though is 12.56, so I'm going to put that over here. The circumference is 12.56, and if I were to know the radius, that would be my key to get area. So the real question is what is the radius? As you recall, we can go from circumference backwards to radius, that's what the previous assignment practiced. So if my circ I'm going to use first this formula circumference equals pi times diameter, or diameter is also double of radius, so I'm going to use the pi times 2r version instead of pi times diameter version. If I plug a 12.56 in for circumference, and if you remember that 2 times 3.14, because we're going to use 3.14 for pi here, gives me 6.28. This formula becomes circumference, 12.56, equals 2 times pi was 6.28 times radius. So if I divide both sides by 6.28, that's going to tell me what the radius was for this circle whose circumference was 12.56. If I divide by double of pi, or 6.28, that turns circumference into radius. When I do 12.56 divided by 6.28, you might have, noticed, might have noticed already that's exactly double in the numerator as the denominator. This is going to give me a radius of exactly 2. Now once I know that the radius is 2, once I know the radius is 2 units, I can plug that 2 into my area formula. The area formula becomes pi times 2 squared or the area formula becomes 2 squared is 4, so it becomes 4 times pi. So now that I've worked out the radius of that circle based on the circumference, the area is pretty straightforward, whatever 4 times 3.14 is, because that's what we're using for pi. That's the area of our circle. So we do 4 times 3.14. We get 12.56. So for that example that we're taking a look at here, the area would be also, that's a pretty tricky one, it ends up being the same thing as the circumference, 12.56. Um, that's due to a bit of an oddity of the fact that the radius squared here is actually the same thing as doubling the radius. For all the other problems, when you do out the area, it's probably almost certainly not going to be the same thing as the circumference that just happened to be the case there. But again, to summarize, if they're giving you circumference, work backwards to radius, then use the radius to find the area. If you've got questions about this third Khan Academy assignment, feel free to watch Sal Khan's videos to get more help. Feel free to reach out to classmates, and definitely, as always, feel free to email me if you need some help. Thanks for watching.